Hi, I'm Tate Brown and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to use Advanced FDM inside of GrabCAD Print to change the wall thickness of holes within a model. This comes in handy when there are holes in the model that will require drilling or tapping. In another video, we added self-supporting holes to this model, but this will work with both types. It's also just a simple way to increase the rigidity of a part or hole that's near a structural component of a model. Whatever your needs are, this is how you make the adjustments. Expand the selection settings menu from the toolbar on the right of your workspace. You can either enter a thickness in the text box or slide the slider to adjust thickness. Enter the slice preview to check out the effect the changes you made had on the model. This can take a few seconds because it re-slices the part, but you'll need to do it each time you make a change. We can visually check the infill to ensure it meets our needs. If more fine tuning is needed, Simply exit the slice preview and make the adjustments. I sped up the boring stuff here, but I'm essentially repeating the process I did before to get the thinnest wall possible. When we check our layers, we can see the desired result was achieved. As was said earlier, this also works on self-supporting holes. Say the engineer would like to increase the hole size, but doesn't have time to change the model. We can accommodate this in GrabCAD. Lastly, Let's do this for multiple holes at once using the shift plus click or control plus click. If you get lost here looking for the slider bar, don't be alarmed. It'll appear as soon as you enter a number in the text box and hit enter. Once more, we'll enter the slice preview to check that all holes selected were adjusted. We can see on this layer the hole was changed and the single self-supporting hole was as well. As we toggle through the layers, we can confirm the other holes changed or stayed the same depending on whether or not they were selected. Hopefully this video helps you as you learn advanced FDM and continue your pursuit for better parts.